Hey guys, do you have this adapter and using it for wireless pen testing? But not only that, are you facing problem to enable the monitor mode and packet injection? Then this video is for you. With the previous version of Kali Linux, this particular adapter did not work well for monitor mode and packet injection. It took lots of effort and numerous steps were involved in order to install the right driver. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the video in i button on your top right corner. Well, I have a good news. Now you can use the monitor mode in this adapter and you can fix this with very short command. So stay tuned and watch the video till end. Without any delay, let's get started. Now before I start to show you guys how to magically fix your driver, I mean the adapter, if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. And also, don't forget to like this video beforehand, otherwise your driver may not work. Now I have started my Kali machine, let's connect the adapter. This is the latest version of Kali Linux. You can check it by simply this command in the terminal. So I'm gonna open the terminal and let's type cat etc os release. And as you can see, this is the latest version of Kali Linux which is available on the official website. If you list the USB, by simply entering command ls usb and my wi-fi adapter tp link tlwn 7 2 tn version 2 version 3 is now connected to the machine if you check with the if you check the wireless adapter with if config the wireless inter interface is wlan 0 now with the default driver, this adapter can be used for normal work, but you cannot turn on the monitor mode and packet injection. Now if we check its mode right now, simply type iwconfig and you press enter. As you can see, this is in managed mode right now. Now we need to fix this, okay? So we can fix this by simply putting one single line of command and before putting this command, before entering this command, make sure your Kali is up to date. So type sudo apt update once and update your Kali. As I have, I have done this already, so it won't take time. It, it, it didn't take time, but uh, uh, update your Kali first. Now the Kali has been updated. Let's enter the magical command. The command is sudo apt install realtake rtl8188 eus dkms y. Now, actually, we are installing the driver manually and it wasn't available before. Now it's available in the latest version of Kali. Kali Linux with the latest version of the Kali Linux. So I'm gonna hit enter and let, let it install. Now the driver has been installed. Let's reboot the system, otherwise, it won't work. So I'm gonna reboot. Now our system has been rebooted. Let's check our uh, Wi-Fi adapter if uh, it is in monitor mode or not. So type iwconfig and as you can see now it is in auto mode. Now to change the mode into monitor just follow this step and if you don't know 
How to do so? Watch the video on the I button. And as you can see, the Wi-Fi adapter is in monitor mode. Now, let's check if it uh, works on a bracket injection. And to do that, simply type sudo airplay-ng-taste and the wireless adapters interface WLAN 0. And as you can see, the injection is working properly. So, this is how you can fix the TP-Link TLWN722N Wi-Fi adapters problem. With this fix, every beginner who has the budget adapter, this budget adapter can work smoothly. So, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the, hit the like button, okay? And if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. See you guys in the next video.